It's Autodesk University 2009. We're here in the AEC Lounge. I'm Ralph Bond for Autodesk. We have a special treat in store here. We're going to talk about a really interesting field trip that Trimble and Autodesk sponsored on Monday of the event. I have with us Karen Weiss, and she's going to tell us all about it. Karen, what was this field trip about? Well, because uh, we're focusing a lot on heavy construction and the model creation and civil 3D and the whole you know 3D modeling aspect right. of, of everything, um, we've done some work with Trimble to create this importer for Trimble Business Center, a heavy construction edition. So the idea was really to show what happens with your model when you take it to construction and how far the technology has come. I mean, back when I started doing uh, roadway design, we would create cross sections every 100 feet, mm -hmm. and then that would get staked in the field. Well, now you cannot take that and out to the field and put it into these machines. So the whole idea was to really show what's the best way to make that model in Civil 3D so that they can just take it directly into Trimble Business Center for use um, on the machinery. So we looked at three different types of equipment. One was a motor grader. Uh, we also looked at just the, the total station using GPS and the rovers as well. So they, that everyone on the field trip got an idea of what the technology is how the model from Civil 3D is used and how important it is to actually create a model that is intelligent. So you literally went out with a group of folks to a facility where you were on the computers first, sort of set the stage, and then literally went out into the field where the GPS-guided equipment did its thing. So tell us a little bit more about that yeah. process. So what initially happened was they went out to collect the existing ground data, okay. which they gave to me. And I use that to create a model in Civil 3D. So we did this ahead of time. Um, so then I could give them the model. So in, in the classroom, we actually talked about the model creation. I showed them exactly how I created the model. So very quick and easy. Passed that information to them. You know, just gave them a stick. They loaded wow. it into Trimble Business Center. Oh, I see. So they actually did it. Okay. Right. So then, you know, the, the Trimble folks did that. They, wow. you know, they created the file formats that they needed. And then, yes, we took it out into the field, and they showed the motor grader actually grading this small, you know, right in front of your eyes. You saw it go from the classroom to the field. Now, the initial input data was from laser scanning the site. Is that correct? Um, I'm not 100% sure how they got their data. It might have been from laser scanning, but um, it, it's a small site, so it was, it was very easy to get the data right, in. Right. Yeah. But in general terms, this work we've been doing with Trimble and so mm -hmm. forth, it does have implications for a scenario where you might be laser scanning an environment, taking this rich point cloud data. Uh, Amber Core, I know, has been working with Autodesk on making sure that data is, remains rich as it comes into Civil 3D. And then you can go through and then using the uh, Trimble uh, software solution and, or technology solution, do everything you were talking about on the Monday uh, field trip, correct? Right, correct. I mean, it, it's it, it's a fairly seamless process. There's no loss of data. That's I mean, that's the biggest thing. You want to be able to take that information, don't do any manipulation, read it directly into something like Civil 3D so that we can create the model there, have them seamlessly pull that model information out that's still intelligent, so they're getting profiles, horizontal alignments, feature lines, you know, everything that they need then to actually give the surface to, to the folks in the field. What was the reaction of the participants? I think everyone was pretty excited. I mean, to actually see the the blades moving, I mean, it's just something that you don't experience every day. <laughs> I mean, they, you hear about it, but until you see it, you really don't understand how powerful it is, how much money it saves. I mean, the whole idea of not having to send people out there to pound stakes to do oh, the grading, yeah. Oh, yeah. how you, you can take an operator who's great and he's even greater with this technology. Right, right. well, it's, a, it's changing the whole world of civil engineering and land prep, it's just remarkable. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you, Ralph.